In this video, I'm going to be doing a Fiverr thumbnail workshop for you. I'm basically going to show you how you can create thumbnails for your Fiverr gigs that will help you get more clicks on your Fiverr gigs. I'm basing this video based on my experience being a Fiverr pro seller for like the last three or four years and my experience as a professional YouTuber because in that world, I'm constantly studying how to make thumbnails that work. Okay, so before you go any further in this video, here's what you're gonna need to make a good thumbnail. You're gonna need a camera and your phone camera is totally fine. You're also gonna need a computer or some sort of device to actually design your thumbnail. And for this tutorial, you're gonna need a Canva account. The free one is totally fine. So we're gonna be making thumbnails with our faces in them. And I know if you scroll through Fiverr, a lot of people don't use their faces. You might not feel comfortable using your face, but here's the thing. Studies have shown that thumbnails had a 30% higher click-through rate when there were faces in them. Something to do with our animal brains being hardwired to respond to images of other people's faces. So that's why we need the camera. We're doing thumbnails with our faces in them. And honestly, if you feel uncomfortable, seriously, I encourage you to consider it. Just take a skim through Fiverr search results and look at how many thumbnails don't have the creator's face in them. Not only do statistics show that people are more likely to click on a thumbnail with your face in them, but it'll help you stand out from the competition on a site like Fiverr. So that's why we're going that path with this tutorial. So to start, we're going to start by taking two or three different poses of yourself, of us, for the thumbnail. Either put your phone on a tripod, do it selfie mode, or get a friend to stand up in front of you with a nice background to take two or three different poses of you that you're going to use to make your thumbnails with. So pulling from a little bit of my YouTube experience, the thumbnail poses that I've found to work the best are the ones where you're either pointing at some text on the screen, looking at the camera with like a shocked or an in awe expression, or just a straight up smiling directly into the camera. So start by taking a picture of yourself in one of each of these poses or try out a pose that you think might be interesting. And then we're gonna move on to the next part of the tutorial. So to start, you're gonna go over to Canva and you're gonna create a new project. According to Google and some Fiverr forums, the best size to create your image is gonna be 1280 by 769 pixels. So click create new design. Once you're here, you gotta upload your thumbnail images. So you should have already taken them. I'm just gonna upload the three that I've taken to myself. So in this example, I'm gonna show you how to create two different variations of each thumbnail. And why you might wanna do this is it's a good exercise so that you can A, B test two different variations of the same thumbnail to see which one gets the most clicks and the most results for you on your gigs. So one is gonna be a thumbnail where I remove the background of myself and then put it on kind of like a primary color background, like a blue or something like that. So the text and you kind of pop. And the other is gonna be one where we're using the photo as we took it without removing any background. So for the thumbnails where you're actually removing the background, you can do this in a couple different ways. So one, if you have a Canva Pro account, there's an easy background removal tool built in that you can use, but there are free options. There's a site called remove.bg, that's an option. And even if you're on an iPhone, I think you can just hold down on the subject of a photo and it'll automatically remove the background. So those are just a couple of options for removing the backgrounds. All right, so we're gonna start with the gig where the background's removed. So you load up your image here, right? I usually like to size it to the canvas. Since I'm using Canva, I'm gonna remove the background just right in here. So you click edit photo, background remover, takes a quick second and voila, the background is removed. So like I mentioned, with these types of thumbnails, I like to play around with, you know, really bold, popping background colors. Um, so you can either go to elements or the background tab here, and I'll just type in something like green gradient, or maybe blue gradient. So let's see this guy here. Okay, that looks pretty perfect. So you see it's a little bit darker on the bottom, a little bit brighter on the top, beautiful. So, when I'm creating thumbnails, I usually like to go with somewhat of a heading. So a heading of the main descriptive terms of what your gig is. So let's say I'm creating a gig for myself. 
I do copywriting. My header would be something like email copywriting, right? Let's get this all sized up properly. Oops. So let's move me around a little bit. I'm gonna want this text to be a little bit bigger, bolder. So what I what I like to play around with as well. So when I'm doing a thumbnail on like a big primary color background and you have your text, like right now this doesn't really pop, right? It's black, if we change it to white, we're kind of gonna get the same effect here. It's there, but it doesn't really, it's not separated from the background very well. So in Canva, you can do a couple different things. So what, excuse me, so the first, so if you click this effects tab, you can play around with the different effects. So this one adds an outline. That's a pretty safe way to go about things. There's this splice, shadow's really nice. There's this lift effect, which kind of adds a shadow behind the text. But what I think will really pop is if we don't use an effect in Canva and instead actually put like a big bright box behind the letters. So if you click this elements tab here, square shape, you just wanna size this up behind your text. So for this one, I'm gonna use a bright yellow. I find that um, in YouTube especially, a lot of big creators are using like a really bright, really bright like almost sunflower yellow um, to head up their headings. I guess, you know, maybe they've done some research on that, change it to white, and now all of a sudden that really pops. So email copywriting. We got our face, we remove the background. You might wanna brighten up your picture as well. You just go into the adjust settings here, brighten yourself up so you don't look dark in case your room wasn't properly lit. We have our heading. Now the last step that I like to do, cause you gotta think, people are gonna be seeing these thumbnails in Fiverr search. They're gonna be scrolling through. We're using our faces to get them, you know, catch their attention because studies show that people click thumbnails with faces more than not. But next is you wanna give them as much information in the thumbnail as possible. So email copywriting, that's my heading. That's what my gig's about, but that's not very specific. So I'm gonna add another block of text here with a bulleted list and I'm gonna say some specifics. So sales emails, marketing emails, newsletters. So now when someone's looking through Fiverr search results, let me just resize this. Let's make this a little bit more poppy, same font, make this bigger. Let's see here. And for this like subheading, I might use an effect, right? Just instead of, uh, cause I don't want it to like kind of take away from our heading, so let's see what works here. And this is a big part of it, right? Like playing around with what's gonna work with the color palette you're choosing. I think that's fine. Black with a white outline. So when people see this in Fiverr search, simple. They're gonna see a picture of me. This is my email copywriting gig, sales emails, marketing emails, newsletters. That's version one, where you have the background removed. So you just hit download, save, saves as a PNG file and you're, you're grooving, you're ready to kind of go on and, and make this your gig. Now, if we want to do the second variant where we use the same photo, this is something that's really even easier to make in Canva and I found this to be really effective on YouTube. So you get your photo, you size it up to the canvas, right? So we talked about using bold colors, yellow as an example, we're gonna do the same thing here. Pick any shape, make it huge. Right? We're gonna rotate it, oops. We're gonna rotate this. Sorry guys, one sec. Why can't I see the rotation? That's annoying the hell out of me. There we go. Okay, so you've built your big square. You're gonna rotate it something like this. So it's kind of cutting the screen in half, right? So you have yourself here, and then you're gonna do this and we're gonna turn this yellow or whatever color you want. I just think for this example, you could do green, you could do whatever. Yellow really pops. And I'm kind of wearing a yellow shirt. So we're gonna edit the photo again, just brighten me up a little bit, right? And now we have this big yellow slab here. This is a great spot. See how in the last thumbnail, we kind of blocked out all of our text. It looks okay. But I found that doing this in my YouTube videos, 
gives you an opportunity to put your heading, your subheadings right there front and center without things looking too busy because you're essentially carving out a dedicated space in your thumbnail that you're only going to be using for text. So then we'll do the same thing. Let's say it's for the same gig. So email copywriting. Instead of boxing out the text, I'm just going to create my header, pick my text. I really like impact. Email copywriting. We're going to make this title all caps. Also, if I, yeah, I did that there too. That's a good little tip as well. Headings for things like this, thumbnails, people like caps. So boom, that's right there. We're going to do another one and we're going to make our list. What did I say? S sales emails, marketing emails, newsletters. We're going to left justify this whole thing. We're going to pop it in here and boom. That is probably as easy as it gets to make what I think to be is a pretty effective thumbnail. It pops, it gives you enough space to describe what you're doing in a way that people can see it in Fiverr search. And it, it just looks good. You don't have to fuss about putting, like a lot of people on Fiverr have these really busy thumbnails with a whole bunch of their work and stuff they've done in the thumbnail. No, the goal of your thumbnail is just to get people to click and to give them just enough information that they know what you're actually selling. So here are the two variations that I think are what I'm going to recommend in this video. And again, the goal of this video is to show you how to make a professional looking thumbnail that gets clicks in a way that's easy. You don't need to spend three, four, five hours on your Fiverr thumbnail. Some people would argue otherwise, but I'm giving you some tools based on my experience and what I've seen work really well on sites like YouTube and some of my own Fiverr gigs. And you can apply that to your own Fiverr gig. So here's variation two, here's variation one. Both use the exact same headshot. One, we removed the background and we blocked out some of the text, lowercase list. The next one, we cut off actually half the screen, gave it a big bright color, and then put the text in black over top. So yeah, what do you guys think? Try this out, it's super easy, it's not rocket science. This is just based on a guy who's made like 500 YouTube videos, 500 or 1,000 different thumbnails, and seeing what works on the internet to get people to click, honestly, these two variations, I think, will do a really solid job getting you clicks on your Fiverr gigs. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if th something's not working for you in Canva or whatever, I'd be happy to answer. But give it a shot. Take some nice photos yourself. Get a free Canva account. Make some thumbnails for yourself so you can start getting clicks, start getting orders, and start making money on Fiverr. That's it for this one. Cheers, guys.